Hey Facebook, how are you doing today? It's Cars and Coffee Dave, and I'm back with Walker Chevrolet. And today we're doing a deep dive on the 2019 Chevy Silverado. Now I've learned a little bit about uh, this new truck um, here in the last couple hours, and I'll put my knowledge to the test in this live stream. But luckily I'm not alone. I've got Michael from Walker. How are you doing today, Michael? Doing good, how are you? Good to see you again, sir. How's it been going? It's been going well. Yeah, lots of service going on at the, at the store today? Yeah, we're, we're keeping them tuned up. Last time I was there, you guys told me you did 15,000 vehicles a month in service. Yeah, we, we do a lot of oil changes and things like that, so we want to keep the cars in tip-top shape. And you do that. You do that superbly well, but um, in addition to the service that you guys offer, you have sales, and this is the 2019 Chevy Silverado. Um, over here on our left, we have the High Country Edition. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Well, this is the top of the line uh, Silverado. Um, you know, it's got all the bells and, and, and whistles, so, you know, when you want a, a, a truck that's going to feel good on the road, you know, it's, it's going to drive And like it a, does. I, I totally yeah. agree with that. I just, uh, I had the privilege of driving the high country here. Hopefully, I'll get to drive the Z71 back, and uh, it, was, it was a really good experience. Now, the Silverado has a slew of features. It comes in eight trim lines, five engines, and three transmissions. So you yep. basically, you can mix and match to whatever you want. You've got all sorts of options to play with. Uh, everything from a 2.7 liter, liter uh, turbocharged four to the 6.2 liter, which is basically a Corvette engine, making 420 horsepower, 460 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, very impressive vehicle, a lot of fun to drive. This car is full of technology. That was one of the things that got me. It's yeah. just absolutely loaded uh, with, it's got wireless charging for your phone in the center console. Uh, it's got all sorts of navigation goodies. Um, what else? You've got you've got pretty much everything you could want in a truck. So why don't we get up close to it and take a look? And one of the great things about the new Silverado is that, you know, while it's still as stout as it's always been, uh, you know, they've they managed to shed some pounds, and they've done that not by uh, sacrificing strength in the in the chassis in the in the structure, but the doors, the hood. Uh, everything that basically swings is now aluminum, so your your roll your your uh, cage is still as strong as it's ever been, and the bed is actually even stronger. But now it's actually 450 pounds lighter. Well, that's awesome. You guys are getting some weight savings in there, and uh, and also moving to aluminum, keeping the steel underpinnings. I love it. So right here on the exterior of the vehicle, it's just to do a quick comparison. The High Country, you've got a lot of chrome on the grill. Um, you've got a lot of chrome accents along the windows. And you compare that to the Z71 package where we got the blacked out grill, blacked out wheels, uh, blacked out trim, and uh, quite a different quite a different look, although it's the same vehicle. Well, this here is the Trail Boss. So yeah, it's the Z71 Trail Boss, so it's it's kind of your off-road Oh, that's right, this is the Trail here, Boss. Yeah. Okay, so this is kind of like the top of the level for... Yeah, this is this is the one you're gonna want if you're into taking your Trail trails out there on along the this has got a two or... inch lift on it from the factory. Mm -hmm. yep. That's awesome, and uh, that's some exterior stuff. But why don't we go back to the, the high country real quick? Uh, Six point two liter engine, ten speed automatic, absolutely gorgeous car. Got these exterior uh, lighting modules right here that make it real easy to get in and out uh, at night when it's dark. Interior is made out of some some really good looking materials. We've got stitching here across the dash. The seats are heated and cooled. Very comfortable all around. Uh, Multi-function entertainment display. You've got glass gauges right there. So I'm gonna give you a quick peek of what it looks like there. And then I'm gonna jump in the back seat and, uh, and for just a, a better angle. Now, we've got a lot of room back here. This is three inches wider than, than the yeah, outgoing. You got more leg room here, just bigger all around. Storage compartments, everything you need. All right, so first of all, it is very cool in here, and it's somehow 97 degrees in uh, October 4th here in Nashville, so probably the last hurrah, but I'm enjoying the air conditioning nonetheless. So first thing I notice is we've got um, a lot of electrical back here. Um, we've got heated seats, we've got a USB, we've got your 12 volt, and we've got a mini USB. So you don't have to go fumbling around with adapters and stuff like that. You can just plug into directly whatever you want. Same thing goes for up here in the center. You got your mini USB. Um, hey, could you do me a favor and flip that up right there, the AC? So this is cool, and I know trucks have been doing this for a while, but I'm still entertained by it. And that's the uh, 120 AC outlet right there. So if you've got a laptop 
um, or other device that requires that 120 volt connection, just go ahead and plug it in right there. And then uh, you got a full control panel there, XM radio, all sorts of uh, listening options. Uh, I'm sorry, yeah, it's Sirius XM. And then over here, we've got your, your four, uh, four by four, two by four, four by four controls, uh, lighting controls, and everything else. And that's a glass cockpit for those, uh, oh, I can't get a good shot of it. But there it is, your fuel, uh, battery, uh, engine oil, and uh, your coolant temperature is all right there. And this really is a sweet truck. Uh, you've got your sunroof here, well positioned, beautiful sky. And look at that view here in our secret location. But uh, all right, I'm gonna jump out here real quick and uh, move to the back. Thanks, Michael. All right, check out these wheels real quick. Pretty aggressive for a factory uh, wheel option. And some things you notice right away, we've got uh, the rear cutouts in the bumper, basically for ease of access and jumping on in. Uh, this is a trick trunk, <laughs> or trick uh, deck lid, I should say. It does all sorts of neat things. So it lowers itself, and it'll raise itself. You want to demo that as well? Now this is a first-in-class option in the fact that you can control this from the cabin. So you don't have to be here to make it go up and down. You can control that directly from inside. And uh, I want to take a look at a couple things that are back here. Oh, we'll have to bring that down one more time. So there's tie-downs. Uh, not only do we have what uh, is the equivalent, equivalent of a factory Rhino liner, we've got all these tie-down points. And if you've ever tried to move anything in a truck, uh, you know that stuff slides around and gets broken. So it's awesome that they have these built in. Uh, there's also 12, there's 12 stationary tie downs. 12 tie downs spread all around the box. You've got lighting built in here. When's the last time you saw lighting built into the back of the truck? Um, granted, I'm not that big of a truck guy, but this is a first for me and I think it's a great idea. It makes a lot of sense to have lights back here. So uh, This bed also has it's got <laughs> seven inches of, of extra width. Now, so it's bigger. This is the largest short box uh, in your in the class, right? Correct. That's awesome. And uh, can you raise that one more time? Last time, I promise. That's just so cool. So one more thing, you got your your rear backup camera right here. Displays on the multi-function display when you're backing up. Tells you what not to run into. I like how the exhaust uh, tips are molded. Uh, in yeah, they're they're big, um, you know, hexagonal kind of looking chrome, molded into the bumper. And it also has a hitch camera. So all sorts of options there. Now, uh, the Silverado also comes in a, a three liter uh, turbo diesel, correct? Yes. And that engine- That's, uh, the, that's the sixth engine option, it's that, the diesel, yeah. Yeah, so, so yeah, they've got that diesel. Uh, great for towing. It's got uh, 450 foot pounds of torque, 10 less than the 6.2 liter. Uh, and it also has engine braking. So if you're, if you're doing a lot of towing, transportation, you need to utilize engine braking, that'd be a good engine package for you. Absolutely. So uh, that is the high country, and now we're gonna take a look at the Z71. So it's kind of red truck day here. We've got our dark red over here, and the lighter red, more traditional red Something on the left. Flashy over here. Yeah, a little flashier. Uh, good looking truck all the way around. We've got some clouds that have come in at a most opportune time. Again, good looking blacked out wheels from the factory. Now, one of the other things I notice on the technology side of this is that uh, there's, there's all sorts of lane departure warnings, uh, low speed braking options, yeah. uh, backup spot. warnings, blind spot warnings, yeah. all sorts of, of really cool built in safety features that you know, keep you safe on the road, protect your investment, and make sure you don't have a nightmare with the insurance company. Right. And uh, there's that carbon fiber insert uh, in the lights right here. Very, very good looking. And uh, so there's the front of the 2019 Z71 Trail Boss, folks. We're gonna take a look real quick at uh, what was in the inside. Now you guys have some really cool storage going on with these vehicles, don't you? Yeah. And one of the things so. that I noticed before is you have this like secret cubby hole right here. 
Ta da! Can store some small items in there, making the, the most use of the space possible. And then also, you had below seating storage right there. So, with one hand, reach in, lift it up, you're good to go. And then when you lift that up, look at all the room you've got back here. I mean, you could almost, you could move a lot of stuff just by lifting the back seats and utilizing the interior storage there. Or if you have a really big dog. Or if, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of dog people out there, a lot of dogs that need to get around, so it's yeah. perfect for them. When you're out on the trail and you want to take your best buddy. <laughs> oh, little stiff getting down, but that's okay. It's brand new and uh, absolutely good looking vehicle. Again, the inside of here is just a little different. You got a couple different uh, options on the interior trim, slightly different from the high ranch. And that's here available on the LT Trail Boss. So, uh, hey man, thanks a lot, Michael. No worries. Really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to let us uh, review these vehicles and check them out, show them to the public and what's cool about them. Uh, people can come visit you down at Walker Chevrolet and you guys are centrally located in Franklin. Absolutely, yep, right cool. off of uh, Carruthers. And uh, what's your website? Uh, www.walkerchevrolet.com. Awesome. Or well, thank you. Give us a call at uh, 615-591-6000. Awesome. Thank you for that phone number. I appreciate it. No worries. Well, we're going to take one more look at the front of the high country. Uh, we really appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and watching today. I hope you've learned something. Uh, I really uh, enjoy you guys coming with me on my journey of automotive discovery as I learn about new cars and trucks uh, all around Middle Tennessee. Uh, don't forget, Nashville Cars and Coffee is this weekend, October 6th. It's going to be a great event. Uh, apparently, it's going to be a little on the warmer side since summer hasn't left yet, but we can't wait to see everybody out there. So uh, have the great rest of your day, and we'll see you this weekend. Bye-bye.